Hello again, everybody. Thetimix here, back with more of Let's Play Creeper World 3, Arc Eternal. And we're going to take a dip into another of the bonus areas. Having done basically what we came to do in the Prospector Zone, Tormented Space is apparently more difficult, and we are going to take probably a little bit longer in there. So, multiple episodes, not sure exactly how many. It says, a vast and tormented region, free as many systems as possible in these, quote, challenging worlds. Okay, so the deal in here is destroy the inhibitors. Now, I was given two recommendations. Um, one is to take the planets from biggest to smallest in a system uh, for reasons of difficulty because of the way these are scripted. This is another procedurally generated area. It's just as big as the Prospector Zone. Um, but I was also, there's a specific planet in this system, which we can't get to until we finish these, that somebody wanted me to do. So what I'm thinking what we're going to do is 200 sub... Uh, 200 underscore zero and then go over to 200 underscore 85. So we do with these two systems as our sort of introduction or sample in this area. Again, not doing them all simply because I'm not completely insane. Okay, so let's close this out. Now if we're going to do these from biggest to smallest, we'll obviously want to stop at Water Naris because that's where the inhibitor is. Or where the... I think that's what it means by inhibitor, but it's got that special symbol there. So biggest to smallest would probably be this one. Yeah. So Alalurgtum, Coramids, Alien Casterer, and then Water Naris. And if these are as hard as they've um, been suggested that they are, then we'll definitely only be doing one per episode. But let's just take a look. El Alertum, the red planet. What is there? Let's go find out. And let's just let this go with no interruption. Okay, so we've got Digitalis. We've got emitters down here. We definitely want to go up top. So do we want to... I probably don't want to stick around. Oh, I only have one command note. Okay, go up here. And then let's see what we can do with this. Oh my, this is already coming in. This might have been a bad idea to start here. This might not work. Let's try it anyway, because we're crazy. Um, cannon, cannon, see what happens. There goes a collector. And we're probably not... See, I probably was going for way too much trying to go over here. If we look around, we've got all this stuff up here. But I think, I think like starting up here, we've got a lot more protection, a lot more time. We can do a lot more. We can use this ridge, perhaps, for protection. So, yeah, let's just restart and try that. So, it's already sniped us once. Let's go up here. Oh, I wanted to unpause. And uh, let's see. Yeah, only one command node. Am I permitted? And that does affect the start because you can't get that extra energy. So, let's just sort of try to branch our way out here. Throw another one there to connect up. Let's go down here. Okay, and then, oh, that actually works? Oh, huh, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, let's build collectors along this wall. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. Of course, I may want to build weapons up here. I think I want to build weapons up along this is what I'm really going to want to do. Okay, so let's... This, this is coming... So let, we're definitely going to want to have, like, cannons here. Um, and I want to connect relays. Yeah, 
and let's relay over to that and get a forge going. Now, what kind of weapons am I going on to use up here? Yeah, it's already flowing up onto this. Um, how strong are these? 110 every 0.9. Uh, 111 every 0.17. Okay, yeah, that's, that's about a thousand a second. This is a lot of force coming at me. So, uh, definitely, like, putting mortars up along here is definitely going to be a thing that I want to do. Let's get a relay there. And let's see, can we do that? I think I'm going to want as many mortars as I can. Let me put three of those up there for now. And then I'm going to want to definitely start getting some reactors going. Now we got the one starting to fire. And I'm doing too many reactors here. Let's deactivate three of them let's let's build two of them at a time just gradually ramp it up and so the the idea is these mortars kicking off to either side are going to at least slow down the creeper minimum might not stop it, but they're going to slow it down. And we got, so uh, what we got here, an air exclusion zone? Okay. We got another totem. And I think I'm going to want to do the same thing over here. Let's, matter of fact, I know I am. Come on, let's relay, 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 and then just for the moment, we'll do one, two, three. And I definitely want more over here now. Ugh. Um, okay, let's see, can I, I want to build, dog, I, I, yeah, I really don't want it there, but maybe just as a temporary connection to get, because I want to get more mortars back up this way. Let's do, okay, I can fit one in here and one in here. And again, they're not going to stop it from flowing. That's not the goal. The goal is to stop it from getting high enough to overrun me. Okay, let's activate these three. Get them rolling. And I think at the start here, I just want more energy. So let's get a couple energy boosts. As soon as I get one more Aether in, please. There we go. And uh, start the energy rolling that way. Okay, let's destroy that. Oh, shoot. I didn't think that was going to take the whole thing out. Well, I'll relay there. And then let's get rid of these two real quickly. And relay here. Another mortar there. And get rid of that one. This will eventually filter back through. It's just going to take some time. Yep. And whether that happens before these are all blown up is another matter. Okay, let's see if I can keep a mortar out here. That would be a nice place for one. Come on. Where, where am I going to connect to it, though? There? Okay, that'll work. Uh, 
How we doing? Not enough for our next energy upgrade. So, let's uh, get some more reactors going. Three of them at a time. Of course, the first thing I want to do is get enough energy going so that all these things can fire. And then we'll worry about other matters. But you can see here that this is not exactly like the first set of missions in the Prospector Zone where there are pushovers. A lot more force to contend with. And the beginning, like many difficult Creeper World maps, is get enough energy to defend yourself with. And we'll gradually get more Aether going. We're at 14% plus there. There we go. Let's boost the energy again. We seem to be holding it off at the moment. Although I'm not at all sure of that. But I think my move here is keep going on energy rather than build more weapons. Okay, there we go. Three more reactors. See, it is still gradually coming forward, coming in. The question is, is it going to come in faster than I can deal with it? And right now I think the answer is no. I think I can handle this. It would seem clear that on these maps the deal is you find the most defensible location, at least if this one is any kind of indication. Find the most defensible location you can. Yep, 60 Aether to the next one, so it's going to be quite a while for that upgrade. And I think I want to go back to building only two reactors at a time. Maybe. No, I'm going to stick with three. There's two. Three. And I just want to use this whole area up here for nothing but reactors right now. There don't appear, and I should have really noticed this earlier, but there don't appear to be any spore towers. we got a runner nest down here. There's, a, there's another totem. There's some ore. Um, you know, a bunch of digitals, which is going to be a joy. And we've also got one of these from the Prospector Zone. That's interesting. There's artifacts of Odin in here as well. Um, there's some ore over this way. But no ore initially. At least not in this area. Obviously, getting increased range is going to be huge so that these mortars can hit farther. So that's going to be something I want to aim for. As soon as I get the energy up, I want to do weapon range. Not necessarily fire rate. Just have a bunch of mortars along here, give them more range so they can hit further out into the deeper waves. Okay, let's get some more of these. Energy is up to 15. Not enough to keep up the weapons, but close. Now we can see this is this is starting to come up over here. This is a bit concerning. We're not quite, like, I feel like it's, it's gaining on us a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. I think we're ready for more energy. Yep. And next I'm going to hit a packet speed. I 
All right, one, two, three. Keep it going. And we're still not there on energy, but we're pretty close. And this one, again, it just, that looks troublesome. You know what, I think I'm going to splurge and build another mortar right here. Just give it a companion mortar to help it out. The thing about that is it does suck up more energy, but I think I need that over there. All right, now we've actually got a positive energy flow. What in the world is that nonsense? Let's uh, let's keep building the reactors, though, but we can build them faster now. Let's go with maybe six of them at a time. And I want to boost energy storage again. I think that the, definitely I want to hit the weapon range though next. And those are 50 for the first one. They they're not they're not cheap. Let's let's get another mortar out here. Matter of fact, yeah, let's do three of them. I just want to make sure we've got plenty of firepower out here at the end. I think, I still think, like the string of them along, but then having more out at the end. Can I put a third one somewhere on this side? That works. More firepower at the end to keep them off of this. Okay. And let's definitely keep going with the reactors. That was a little bit of an imperfect placement there, but I'm not too concerned about that. Six more of those. And ether, we're ready. Let's do a fire range. Okay, I think we could defend with this setup. We could defend almost indefinitely. So, I'm liking that. The question is, how do we attack? And I don't think I'm done building reactors. Another half dozen. That'll get us up to about 30. Um, let's see, 110 every 0.9. That one's so much closer than anything else. I mean, it's got digitalis and everything. This is 116, yeah. So I think pushing along here towards that is probably a good idea. If we could gain control of this plateau, get that ore, use that or um, this plateau and you put a spray up there to help out a little bit um, that could help us I mean it's probably just gonna be a grind you know but yeah that's that that's a big one but 110 every point nine this is definitely the weaker one in this area of course we're gonna need snipers and we're really close to their range right now as it is so Let's see, let's, let's get a couple snipers, if I can. Yeah, I can move them forward later.
but um, I just want to have them in place. And let's get some more cannons. There we go. The snipers are going to start thinning out that population. I just want to start gradually moving forward here. And it doesn't look like it's going to be too much trouble. I mean, I think I've pretty much got this now in terms of are we going to win it? Now the question is, can I do it in a vaguely efficient time frame? So, let's see about that. Throw another collector up there and move this up that way. Just to sort of be a permanent guardian. I think I want to move up onto this shelf and then work my way down um, optimally. Let's see. relay there Let's see if I can keep a sniper up there now let's check about more range boost the range fire rate once but we're going to emphasize range here yep okay you're taking hits that's not going to work go back Of course, I can do the group move here, but I don't know. I find it's it's hard to get them exactly where I want them doing them that way. More and more, I just find myself wanting to go back unless I'm just moving stupid massive amounts of items. And I do think at this point, I do want to mix a few mortars in. Let me get four mortars joining this attack group. Particularly useful when going upwards, of course. And we'll want to switch some of these over to Digitalis later. But yeah, we're getting a little bit into energy issues again. Let's just pause here for a bit. And there's seven. Let's just build a bunch more reactors. Just wait for them to build. I think I want to move this. Well, it doesn't want to give me a spot. There we go. Let's just move it up there. Move the source of energy closer to the front. And maybe throw down a couple collectors and put some reactors around them back there eventually.
And we still don't have enough energy. So there'll be no eventually about these reactors. How about now? Now seems like a perfectly acceptable time to put them up. Do a couple more groups of at least six and then see where that leaves us. See where we're at over here. Yeah, I think I think we've I think we've established an equilibrium, and now we just want to push that equilibrium backwards. If I zoom out here, we got one, two, three, and that's a nest. Four, five, six, seven emitters. So one isn't going to make a huge difference, but each one that you do, of course, it starts to clear away the path. No inhibitor on this map, so we got to go from, you know, just moving um, move, moving all the uh, emitters out. Can't, can't ignore any of them. Okay, so now we've got enough energy again, but... Not by a big margin, so... Let's build more. I want to wait for 200 to get more range. That's still what I want next. Okay, now I want to start moving these mortars up so they can hit up here and support the advance properly. Then let's I don't put one here. There we go. And now I can start throwing a few of these up on that shelf. get a relay here and if we can protect it there Move one of these snipers over here. One of them there, one of them over here. Okay, if anybody's wondering if I broke my no pause rule just there, I didn't. I had to, uh, I was interrupted by a domestic matter. So, back to the fun here. And we're pressing towards this emitter. Which is one of the weaker ones in the level, I believe. But it's still definitely going to be an issue. And let's, let's definitely get more up here. maybe throw this over here and I'm wondering how high up I need to go here lost a mortar here okay yep that makes sense was leaving that a little bit loose. Let's do this. 
let's throw let's throw two of these up here and see what that does. So I'm wondering if I leave these two here um, and then leave these two up here in a mortar to protect them. Is that going to be enough to cover that flank? I think it is. And then try to push forward this way. Now let's Whoa, that's that's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. Yeah, it's creeping out this way for sure. Um creeping. <laughs> Get it? Oh boy, that was not even supposed to be that bad of a joke. I apologize. Okay, let's get a couple more cannons up. Let's check on our forge and you know, let's boost fire rate and we can hit range here again in just a minute there we go now let's move these up there and do a bit of a leapfrog thing here which isn't going to be much of one because I need another relay. Now it can be. We ready for that range yet? Do believe we are. Now let's just double check all of this fun stuff. Yep, and we are successfully holding off the creeper all along here. Whoa, where'd we just lose a relay? down here we're having clearly that's the second thing I've lost over here so let's throw up a couple more cannons you can see this thing this poor thing is tired out so we're pushing it back here but not quite far enough let's maybe float up here yeah let's do that just looking for places I can move forward a bit these can help target down here we're not quite close enough of course but I wanna um, I wanna hit this with uh, digitalis uh, cannons Let's uh, relay there, I think, and throw one up there, and let's have you be Mr. First Digitalis. Let's definitely move the sniper up a bit. Yep, it's taking some damage, but it's surviving. And then you move here. And I want you to go Digitalis also. So we've got two Digitalis and one regular. And I do think at this point, 
Probably should have done this before. But I do want to deploy some Berthas. And the thing is, I might want to build some on power zones later, but I guess I don't really care about that. Right now, let me build three. That's probably going to suck up a bunch of energy. So let's just see how that goes. Yeah, we're slowly dragging energy. We're going to use a bunch more when we start firing those. So you know what time it is. Yep, tanked our energy big time. So we'll just hold on and wait for those to finish. I feel like we're like we're slowly pushing it back, but I want to be able to clear out the creeper around this digitalis um, in order to really push forward. I, I don't think I need a bunch of Berthas to attack the whole map. I just want a few to be specifically targeted in support here. So that's the, uh, that's the idea that I want to go with. Okay, now we're still low on energy, but we got those reactors up. Let's build more. Snipers are doing fine. Anytime these runners get close, they're taking them out. So that's all good. And I, I think the fire rate is really what did me in there. Didn't realize quite how much that was going to cost me. Uh, so I don't really want to hit that again now. As useful as it would be. So I want to target these... Like one here, and then one over here, and one here. Might be too close together, but the idea is that's going to just clear out, um, you know, hopefully make it easier for me to progress forward into this. Now, I don't like taking on Digitalis without... Um, without anti-creeper but there's only so much that can be done about that so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with the reactors I will eventually want to boost that fire rate up higher so there's like eight or nine more there that will tank the energy again. And we're up over 50 energy and I'm like, you know, I don't think I have enough. And that's just a reflection on the level. There we go. There's two of them. The third one did I already fire. Yeah, that's where I want you. Must have already fired. Okay. move one there. It's got to be somewhere over here that we can relay. There we go. So I'm just gradually moving these forward um, as you know as our progression moves forward. And I didn't realize this is right on top of this ridge. That is interesting. 
I don't think it matters that much, but it is interesting. And also, this is up higher, so these can't actually fire. Let's, let's move the two of you up on there. Because they can't fire at this stuff, because they... I think that's part of the problem. Yeah, let's see how you know deep this is over here. This is like eight. It's limited amount over here. There we go. Now we're see now we're clearing this out. Now we're doing something. All right, let's let's go digitalis with you and move you like there no in range there we go yep you're gonna have some problems there that's a little bit too risky maybe over there nope you're gonna die doggone it all right, lesson learned. I do want to have, I think, a regular one here. Let's, um, you know, let's move. You're not doing much where you are anyway. Go up there and help defend this. You come with us. Okay, let's get... I think I just need more weapons. I need to not halfway this and get more weapons. Let's build another mortar there. And get these up here further. That wasn't very nice. But I can't really move this forward much, I don't think. We're getting close here, though. I mean, this... The nullifier is going to have to go there, and we're not quite to the point where we can handle that, but we're close. Let's let's do digitalis. Okay, here. And let's get another relay there. Another digitalis cannon, say here. Then a regular one there. Boy, we might have enough room here to do this. Yeah. Not quite. Not quite, but we're getting close. Let's put you here this thing's holding okay so when the when they hit their next volley yep they stunned that relay there we go now let's see about this nope not yet still gotta push further Wondering about these. They're looking okay over there. Let's move you over here. And I'd build more if I needed them, but I don't think I do. Where'd I lose a relay? Right here. Okay. Another one. Let's build a cannon there. And let's digitalis that one. If you first you don't succeed, get more firepower. Yep, that didn't work either. That's not working too well. Let's retreat you. So we are, you know, sort of at an impasse here. 
And I'm wondering... I think I might just want to put a shield... Let's retreat that. And put a shield there. And the idea is just have it shielded enough to place the nullifier. But I'm spending a lot more time on this emitter than I wanted to. We are still holding fine. It's really time to start going after this emitter and then progressing through you know the rest of things here. So there we go. Now let's see if the shield can hold there and we can put a relay to connect it. Put a sniper there. Move it forward. Interesting, this is starting to get cut off. Yep, now that Digitalis is going to die. These runners are going to have issues. Let's put a sniper up there to just give them a miserable day for the moment. It's interesting. It looks like they stunned it, but it basically didn't care. Because <laughs> it kept... Gunning them down. Now, they're not going to be able to... I mean, they're going to spawn, but what are they going to do if they spawn and there's no... I'm actually kind of curious what would happen there. The next order of business is definitely moving up here and then attacking down towards this one, which is a stronger emitter. So, let's see about something like that. And you can go Creeper again. So can you. I think it spawns and does nothing because the Digitalis is dead. Because I've killed the emitter that was supplying it. Alright, so you can just sort of move off then. And, you know, I think a mortar is going to be as good as anything for right now.
You know what? I would not at all mind having some ore to take on this with, but getting up here will be easier to go get that. So I still want to progress up. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, let's let's retarget our Berthas first of all. Let's do like here. And here. And here. For now. Maybe we'll change that later. That's what we're going to do for now. Now this thing is going to keep hitting whatever points it can. Put a couple out that way. Okay. So, yeah, this is, that's the plateau I want to get up to. I'm almost there. Where did I lose the relay? Not sure. Okay. In any case, you know, what I want to do for sure is just get a few cannons up there. That blast from the Bertha, clearly going to help. Let's splurge and go after that fire rate and the range. And should not, whoops, I missed clicking here. Should not have any problems now getting up on here. Lost a cannon over here. Okay, so clearly I have neglected the defense of this a bit much. Gotta continue defending this front. Move out along this plateau.
And let's uh, let's throw a mortar down over here. And just the scale of weaponry that you need, I don't think I'm really used to yet. Yeah, that didn't help. I'm spread out too much here. I need more cannons. I think I want one of these stay back there. starting to get some in. Let's put a sprayer right there. Of course we're going to go the always on method. And let's go with Digitalis for you and for you and that's working quite well let's relay there put you in place and let's get that freeze orbital weapon which probably isn't strictly needed but is going to be very useful digitalis there as well Yeah, let's retarget you over there. Bingo. Okay, orbital. Fire the freeze about here. Deploy the nullifier. Forget that you didn't upgrade packet speed enough. boost fire rate again and let's get I'm having trouble on all this sometimes seeing where my mouse pointer is to control things properly and goodness I've been at this mission almost an hour these these are not small missions. Of course, I could have done it somewhat faster, but they are not uh, not pushovers. Okay, the sprayer. I don't have enough, or. I think to really benefit from it right there. Let's throw another mortar. You know, at this point, I don't see a reason not to just go after this one. Um, I don't think I want to go a huge distance up over here. I like having the one mortar in place. Maybe I move it up there. Uh, move this maybe there with another relay. What 
What I want to do is, though, get to the edge of this plateau and then see how much I really need to have in place over here. Let's move some more weapons down this way. I really want this mortar to be out there. Then maybe a cannon, 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 fourth cannon, and then everything else comes this way. So that I've got this ring, you know, this defensive ring that will easily handle whatever creepers left out that way. Okay. We need to build like a broad... Actually, no. Instead of doing that, let's just move this forward. Do something like this. And yeah, okay, we've pushed them back behind this ridge. So, let's just snag these as well. And we got a couple more over here, so just pick up all the stray weapons that aren't doing anything. And remember to retarget the Berthas, that's always useful. So let's you know, let's sight them in. Do that there. Let's throw a mortar about there. And another mortar. I'm just wanting to set up my defenses on this flank here. Before I get too... Nope, not you. Before I get too anxious about pushing forward. Or too aggressive, or whatever the term might be. Just want to make sure there's no chance. See, we're about to cut this off over here, but there's no chance of it coming after me. Now we need to get up on that plateau. That's the next job. And let's let's take our Digitalis friends up about there. Push these in a little more. I think definitely one of these mortars over here is good enough. I'm going to take one with me. But I also want to build a couple more. Relay up here and let's definitely get uh, this sprayer going. Relay, relay. Yep, and now we've got, this is a new level up there that I've got to get to. So, I want to get these. Let's get another relay. I want to get the Digitalis cannons up here. 
soon as I can. Oh, come on. Clear that out. No. Well, that didn't work too well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you a couple of standard cannons. And we'll see how you do. Much better, it looks like. Let's nullify that. I think we should be able to protect it right from where we are. You can see these power zone mortars still punishing the creeper formations over here. Let's see how deep some of this is. Oh yeah, like 70 deep creeper. That'll be fun. I think the first thing I want to do... Or no, the Digitalis will kill itself. So why not just do the same thing again? definitely going to want to wheel to the west here, or left, whatever for you, you prefer to call it. We're going to want to go all standard creeper for the moment. And let's, let's put a mortar up here. Let's stretch out these cannons a bit. I want to just take most of these weapons because there's nothing producing a creeper over there anymore. So I want to just grab most of these and just say, you know what, you're coming over here now. Yeah, this is gone. This is all gone. You're coming too. We're all headed this way. And I don't even need all of this. Like, what am I even going to use these for anymore? But, you know, nice to have it. Let me just boost storage a couple more times. Packet speed a couple more times. Just because I can. It wouldn't hurt, actually, to jack up or efficiency all the way. That'll help the sprayer. That would actually be something that is going to be useful here. And we're going to get another ore here, so we'll get another sprayer. All of that's going to be lovely. It's just, I want, like, relays all over this whole section. And just want to that. Yeah. This is one of those areas where I don't even care where they go. I just want them to move forward. This thing isn't even firing anymore. Let's get it off of there. Throw down a reactor. This one too. Good grief. There's there, None of these weapons 
are even doing anything. We have a stupid amount of them over here. Another reactor. Let's nullify that only because we're going to get a power zone out of it. Claim the ore mine. And now we've got like a cluster over here. One, two, three. Three of them. These are the last three, it looks like. Yeah, the last three emitters. Let's do that. And this. Oh yeah, gonna want the snipers down here now. I think I had another one up here somewhere. Maybe? Possibly? Whatever, I think there was. But even if there wasn't, let's build a couple more. Which way to attack? It's going to depend on the ground, but I think I just want to cross over here, get closer, and then worry about that. Oh, yay! I've got the Relay Lover achievement because I've built so many relays on this lovely map. Let's, um, let's get you up here. And yeah, I think we just want to... I don't see any reason not to just keep pushing them forward. Just no subtlety here, just a massed attack. Make sure we get some cannons up there. Start clearing this out. I never changed the Berthas. They're still firing at the wrong place. I really need to learn to be better at that. Okay. Let's do something like this. And fire the third one. You know, maybe back here to clear out the reinforcements.
Yeah, and this uh, this sprayer is using all the ore we have still. So let's boost that however much we can. Maxed out ore efficiency. So I think I want to just get a few in here. that like the digitalis maybe go with something like a 50 50 mix of course I'm hitting this whole area with a broadsword not with a scalpel I'm just pushing forward getting some stunning in there let's definitely make sure we move up some of these digitalis guys let's move that up that sniper get a couple relays up there I think I just want to keep pressing right in here and take that one out so Sniper here. Sniper here. Do they even have... They do have another nest over here. There, there are four of them. Just that one is not on actual Digitalis. Okay. But of course, this will all get much easier once we start taking out these Digitalis... Uh, Digitalis emitters, but it's not going too bad right now. Not at all. Ah, that's not near, nearly up far enough. So am I close enough here is the question of the day, and I am, so let's get rid of that. Why don't you retarget, say, there? Boom. Okay, so what do I want to do with this? Honestly, I think I want to put a sniper up there as soon as I can. I also think right here I just need to get as much firepower forward as possible. Literally the issue here is there's no room for all of my weapons. So I definitely have enough. Okay, let's Oh, that's not going to hit much of it because of it being because of the elevation. Yeah, that's not worth it. Okay. Mortar it is. And we definitely need to get up on this. For sniper purposes. Although, should always check just out of range of the nullifier. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. I 
All right, let's move two of these. And I want to push out this way as well. Let's get a couple more going that way. Yeah, and those are going to get bombarded with runners. But I want to get one of those and a sniper up there if I at all possible. Because once that's in place, it will be good. And let's see if we can get this up there. Yeah, now that sniper's starting to take him out. Now we're doing something. And I think we're in position. So from here... Yeah, I think we just keep pushing. That might be a better sniper pulse, although I don't think I'm going to need it for that at that point. And this guy, oh, I found the other sniper. <laughs> this guy is not needed up there. Interesting to watch. You know, yeah, they're, they're just they're just pummeling the creeper now. It's it's shrinking. Its days are numbered. At 111 every point one seven. That's one of the strongest ones, if not, yeah, it is the strongest one. I'm pretty sure that was the strongest emitter on the map that just went down. Time for another mass movement forward. There we go. This thing will do some damage from there. Not sure that that's as good as a mortar with the sheer volume of stuff that we're dealing with here, but what the heck. I'll leave it there anyhow. Another set of relays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll get another ore mine up. I don't even know where the sprayer is at this point. There it is. We are actually collecting now some spare ore. So let's put another one up. And I think I want to retarget the Berthas one last time. So I want to have them pummel this corner. We could be close enough here. Like almost. Yeah. So the final death throws are being observed.
Because I think I can put a nullifier on that. Yep. And from there, it'll take out at least one of these, at least the exclusions out, if nothing else. They may not even need it, but let's throw a nullifier up there right now anyway. Yep, as soon as we actually get it to stay there. Which I think we've got it now. That should handle it. Boom! There it is. Okay, so... I mean, obviously this one clocking in at just under an hour and a half. If they're anything like this, and I have no reason to expect they'd be easier, with this being uh, the... You know, the first one in the Tormented Space. We're definitely going to be doing one of these planets per episode. Not going to be going after a ton of them in one go. Certainly that's more than long enough at a time. That's El Lurgtum, ladies and gentlemen, in the bag. We'll come back for Coromids next time, then Alien Caster and Water Naris before we get out of this system. So... That'll be coming up in the next episode. Till then, thanks for watching, and we will be back soon.